After recording this video on creating RBP for free on Azure Portal, it received so many bad comments where the bad comment was about the internet not working. I wish I could have answered each person one after the other, but that will be something else. So in this video, I dig deep and find a new route of creating an RDP for completely free. And this time around, I tested everything before recording the video, including being able to use internet in this RDP, unlike the previous one I created. So rest assured that this free RDP creation method has internet connection, has high speed, and you can transfer files from your PC to the RDP. The method we are going to apply is very, very tricky. So you need to watch till the very end and follow me step by step as I'm going to take my time to explain everything of getting this free RDP. Apart from the trick I will be showing you, there is also a downside about this RDP that you need to know, of which I will tell you at the end of the video, even though it works perfectly. So let's get into the setup without wasting much time. But before that, kindly hit the subscribe button if you're new and turn on the notification bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos. Let's get started. Alright, so the first step is to log into your Gmail account. It's not compulsory to use Gmail, but it's recommended. Next, open a new tab and visit github.com. Click sign up and register for a new account. Enter your Gmail, password and username and then proceed. Select just me and continue. Leave everything unchecked and continue. Next, scroll down and select continue for free. All right, so once you successfully log into your account on GitHub, click create repository. Next, enter anything as your repository name and select private and proceed. After creating the repository, click on settings. Next on the menu, toggle secrets and variables. And then click actions. Next, click new repository secret. Now when you get here, leave it open and open a new tab and visit ngrok.com. Click sign up and sign up for an account. On the sign up form, scroll down and click sign up with GitHub. Click authorize and grok private. Accept the terms and click Create Account. Skip this part by clicking Skip. Scroll down and click Continue. Alright so immediately you sign up, make sure you are on the Setup and Installation page, and then scroll down. Now on the second command, highlight and copy the command after the auth token. Please it's very important so only highlight and copy the command after the auth token and never include the auth token. Next head back to your GitHub create repository page. Paste the command you copied at the secret field. Next at the name field, type ngruk underscore auth underscore token all in capital letters. Please this part is also important so make sure you type the name in capital letters and don't forget to include the underscores. When you're done, click Add Secret. After adding the secret, click on the Actions tab. Next, click Set Up Workflow yourself. Next, you will copy and paste this script. I will leave the link to download the script in the description below. 
So after pasting the script, click Commit Changes. Next, click on the Actions tab again. And then click on the CL tab. Next, click on the Create Main Workflow. And then click on Build. Please make sure you follow the exact steps I'm taking. Next, cancel the workflow. Wait till it finishes, and then you will see the Cancel Workflow changes to Rerun Jobs. After canceling the workflow, toggle the Rerun Jobs and click No Run Failed Jobs. Next, click on the build again. And then wait for it to run. Now scroll down to the bottom, and on the last line right above the Create Funnel, which indicates name and password. Click on the drop-down and you will get the username and password of the RDP, and then save it somewhere. Now after getting the username and the password for the RDP, we need to get the connection address for the RDP. Because without the connection address, we can't connect the RDP with only the username and password. And to get that address, head back to your Ingrok dashboard and make sure to leave the build to run without canceling the workflow again. Click on Endpoints. And then make sure to refresh the page to get the latest connection address. Next, click on the URL. And then on the URL, copy everything without the TCP and the two forward slash. We've now created the RDP, so congratulations. Now let's log into the RDP. And to do that, search for remote desktop on your PC. Now paste the URL you copied and click Connect. Next, enter the username and password you copied from the GitHub workflow and finally log into the RDP. Please note this. Immediately you log in for the first time, you will see this window. Please do not close this window. If you do that, your RDP will stop working. Leave it to run and never close it. So just minimize it and then you're good to go. So that's it, that's your free RDP. There is a downside to this RDP as I already told you at the beginning of this video and I'm going to explain later on which you need to know before you rush in creating one for yourself. But before I explain the downside of this RDP, let's check the internet connection if it works unlike the Azure RDP we created in this video. So I'm going to open the browser. Let me visit my website franksarena.com. Alright, the internet works perfectly. By the way, that's my website, you can check it out for tools. Now here is the downside of this RDP. This RDP works perfectly, but the only downside is that it only lasts for just 6 hours. I know you're kind of down but hear me out for a solution. Now keep in mind that all these free RDPs doesn't last for lifetime as you want it to be. That's the whole truth I'm telling you. You won't get free RDP that will last you for months unless you pay for it. But all these kind of tricks we use to get free RDP just like the one I have showed you in this video doesn't last that long. The only trick about this particular video is to repeat the same process I showed you in this video to create another RDP. But keep in mind that it will last for just 6 hours and then it will stop. So once it stops, then you repeat the same process and create a new one. That's the trick. I personally use an RDP that I have been using for years, but I pay for it. It's not free. I'm just letting you know the reality that other YouTubers won't tell you. So if you're someone who needs RDP to use for months and keep files, this type of free RDP staff is not for you. But in case you want to use a paid RDP that is reliable where you can use for months and save your files, let me show you how. 
First visit franksarena.com slash RDP. This will redirect you to this website called starkrdp.io. Now when you type franksarena.com slash RDP to visit Stark RDP, that is my affiliate link because I am affiliated to them. But I got you guys a coupon code to use to save 20% discount. So make sure to use franksarena.com slash RDP to visit Stark RDP for the coupon to work. Now the location of the RDP doesn't matter, so make sure you choose between either Europe RDP or Canada. And then select the bronze package. The way Stark RDP work is that you can renew your RDP every month. So if you keep renewing month after month, you can use just one RDP for years without jumping from one RDP to another. So when you get to the billing cycle, I highly recommend you go with the quarterly plan because that will last for three months before you renew. And for the operating system, make sure you select Windows Server and then click Continue. When you get to the checkout, enter this coupon code and click Validate Code to get a 20% discount and then proceed with the payment where you can pay with crypto. So after purchase, you will get your RDP login credentials and then you can start using it for months. That's it for this video. Kindly give me a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more valuable content I will be releasing. Thanks for watching.